What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy, that boy Max, and I'm still looking for art this summer. I ain't seen him yet, but it's okay, y'all. It's still the Midwest music grind with your boy, baby. But we are still sponsored by Dante's In-N-Out, 967 South Kentucky Avenue in Evansville, and of course, the Lucky Lady Lounge, 523 North Main Street in Evansville, y'all. And I am so happy with the guests I have in here today, because it's been a long time coming. And I have today... Miss Dutchy Blanca, everybody. What's poppin', Dutchy? How you doing? What's up? What's up? How I'm are you? Good. What's up, friend? I'm Hi. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. How so you doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm blessed. Yes, but ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Long I'm, journey. I'm, long time coming. Oh, yeah. For sure. And I'm glad that you were able to, I know you're busy, to take some time out your busy schedule to come down here yeah. and rock with us, man, with the Midwest Music Grind. Thank you for coming. Oh, definitely. I'm proud of y'all, actually, for even having this. I'm just been like... Might have been a couple years ago when I was trying to get my music played and mm-hmm. you wouldn't even play local Man, music. don't so don't like- feel bad. Uh, I'm in the same boat. You know what I mean? So I think a lot yeah. of us are. So that's what I kept fighting for. And here yeah. we are. But this is big. I feel like it's a step in the right direction for a lot of the the indie talent in the area. So, yeah, this is dope. I'm, I'm proud of you for this. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Thank you so much. Salute to you and your grind as well. I appreciate that, man. So, you know, here's how I'm going to go. Okay. We're going to start with the beginning, with your journey, your musical journey, and we're going to go up. Okay? So... First of all, we're going to start in the beginning because a lot of people do not know Dutchie is the first artist, not just female artist, that I got to work with on my own. And that's a hidden fact. Facts. <laughs> hidden fact. Like, I wouldn't be where I'm at without working with this lovely woman right here in front of me, man. And I want to still say to this very day, thank you so much for taking a, a chance on me. Okay. As a producer, with the big, the old school computers. Yes, the, literally. <laughs> yes, and that's what I'm saying. Nobody knows that for real. That far back, that's crazy. Yes, so ma'am. And look at you time. now. You know what I'm saying? You killing it. I I love it. You know I love to talk about female artists that are really rising and going crazy. I've been doing that for at least three, three, four years now. For real, yeah. for real. So. Shout out to all the women working crazy. Man, y'all going. Y'all, 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 killing y'all might it, be killing, killing the right guys now. too right We're now. Killing it right now. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So. That's what's up, man. So real quick, Dutchie, they don't really know the real you. So your name hasn't always been Dutchie Blanca, correct? Nah. What was it in the beginning? Uh, It was Duchess at first. It started off as Duchess. And uh, my mom actually gave me that name. And then, you know, when it kind of, yeah, shout out to my mom. Shout out, mama. But uh, just because, (laughs) you know, who my mom is and what it stood for, what it meant to go Dutch and, you know, being a woman that pays her own way. And that's just how she raised me to be a woman that stands on my own, me and my sisters. And then, um, you know, just kind of moving on to the streets is when, like, the Blanca came and yeah. that part came, and then it just became Dutchy Blanca. So, yeah. I think it makes for sense, right for real, for yeah. real, especially with how your music is now and, you know, as of, as of even recent. You know what I mean? I can definitely see over the, all the years the growth in just you. Yeah. And that's awesome to see, you know what I'm saying? I feel like with people with their music, they kind of get stuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and ain't nothing wrong with that. It's not a knock to any artist. It's... We understand, yeah. but it's still about pushing through. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, as an artist, that's the hard part, too, because it's like as you're growing and evolving, whether it's mentally, spiritually, or whatever, yeah. it's like your music and your content changes, especially if you, like, write about your life and, you know, the things yeah. that you really do. It's like as you grow, your content changes, and there's some people that expect you to be stuck in what you used to do and who you used to be and how you used to sound. And, right, right. You know, that they just, don't even want to try to give the other <laughs> the other a chance. And I definitely, I mean, I hear you, man. Talk yeah, to them. Please yeah. talk to so them. So it's like hard to not be, to not get put in that box. Yeah. And I mean, as an artist, like I'm somebody that I don't want to be put in a box anyway because I feel like I'm multifaceted. Like there's so many different parts to me. And mm-hmm. I feel like because people are so, some people are so like, I don't even know the right word to use, but it's like they just, it's like this or this. Yeah. It's like they can't handle somebody that's a multi everything. But in real life, it's like majority of people are multifaceted. Like yeah. There's nobody that's just this or that for real for us. Like we have a whole lot of it. So it's like I'm finally at a point where I'm trying to bring all of me together to, to the yeah to the forefront and put yeah. all of me into my music where I feel like for so long I was like hiding bits and pieces of me and trying to, you know, just put out what I thought people wanted to hear from me. Right. And so it's like, I feel like I'm in a new, like, just journey where I'm just being me, like, take it or leave it. I'm not yeah. dumping myself down, walking yeah. myself down. Yeah, no take me like, as I am. Yeah, yeah it's it's, yeah. it's raw. You going to get it or <laughs> throw it out. <laughs> I might not be a cup of tea. Some people like juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? And some people like juice. Speaking of cup of teas, I see you have a cup. Yeah. yeah, I see you got the cup in here right now, so yeah. I know you all right. You in your zone, and that's Definitely. what I, you know. Mama, 
it's it's your other daughter's fault. My little <laughs> sister, <laughs> my little sister, you know, poured me up a little cup. She put uh, what you put in here? Bacardi. Okay. And orange juice. Bacardi okay. And orange juice. This is something she she just got back from L.A. So this is some stuff. Shout out, little sis. She rooftop drinking. Yes. <laughs> Shout out, little sis. It's so, all yeah. good, man. It's all good. Now, real quick, I know. Um, back to the beginning a little bit more. When did you start? writing and picking up like the lyrics and wanting to get in the studio like like and and who made you want to do that uh the crazy part about it is my mom actually used to rap when she was little she had a, well not when she was little but when she was you know mid-20s or whatever she had a rap group and what was the name of mama's rap group don't let me uh, find out i'm on her uh, suave something like that i think it was suave or something like that was that what it was <laughs> do you remember I think that's what it was. I'm I'm going with that suave D final answer. It was, okay, okay, <laughs> bet, bet, bet. But um, yeah, like she used to rap and um, so yeah, it was just like growing up just hearing. Her so you pretty it. much like watched her and was like, you know what, this is a little bit yeah, of yeah. Like my mom was like my first like I want to rap like before I even knew who a uh, little Kim was, and I feel like after my mom, then it was like Kim. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Like, before that, it was it was definitely my mom. Like she was. Going hard with your mom was your big was a so was a really out. big supporter. Uh, shout out to your mom because your mom is really who pulled me to the side and said, "Here, Max, here's a little bit of something." And I mean, that's the first first amount of money I had ever got for a beat. And I'm looking <laughs> like, also, oh, it can be done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey, this is hey, look. I'm gonna put these put these minutes on my phone. Yeah, right. Quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's that's that's that that's side. back then when you could put the minutes on the phone for yeah. real. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's yeah. awesome, man. Shout out, mom, like, for real, for um, real. I would say it started from my mom, and then it just kind of built up to me just like loving the art just music became like an escape for me and um we, you know went through some things my mom went to prison so it was like we was kind of you know just felt alone so it was like music was my only escape yeah and yeah. I just kind of felt fell in love with it on my own from then just like writing journaling my thoughts and stuff like that and you know fast forward to now it's like I'm still yeah, I've yeah, watched you for a long time yeah. go crazy, man. I've watched you do some shows. You put me in some shows. Yeah. Yeah, man. No, we've been rocking for a long time. You dance. Yeah, yeah. You can sing when we you started, really want to. They don't want to see you like that right now. They you don't. Don't, They don't want to see the whole see duchy. Side. I'm telling you that, but that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm ready to bring it all full force forward. I can't wait, man. I'm yeah, so proud of you right now. It's definitely time. I feel like it took me a long time to really actually like believe in myself and I really didn't believe in myself for real until um Noopin rest in peace Noopin until he passed like he was the only person before they used to like call my phone and be like yo you talented like what are you doing why are you mm -hmm. not working why are you not in the studio like why are you not he definitely out seen a lot in a lot of us may he r.i.p for real for real definitely like his work ethic was crazy but like I mean this was back when I couldn't nobody in the city would even put me on their songs like yeah no, I I definitely get no, I get it. I understand completely. Definitely. So I feel like um once I lost him and I feel like he was one of the only people that actually kind of believed in me and was pushing me out loud, then it was kind of like, damn, like I got to take it serious and It's like, okay. Go I got to kind of, you know, step up, take it serious and push myself and then it's just kind of I don't know. I just feel like it just kind of lit a different fire in me. That's like, okay. Well, good, man. I'm go. I'm sure he's going to be happy that that the fact that you're still going and that he wants you to keep Most going no matter what. And I want you to keep going no matter what, man. So real quick, speaking Mike, of just that, what are some words of encouragement that you would have for any up and coming artists, you know what I'm saying, that's trying to do something in the music anyway? Like what's a few things that you would say to them that's um, trying to start? I would say don't get wrapped up in the city politics, like the city that you come from. Yeah. It's like, um, you know, branch out, network, and don't burn bridges. Yeah. You know, like. I think Make that's sure the one. I ain't heard that one yet. Yeah, I ain't heard like that one yet. Don't burn bridges because you never know. It's like the, what they say, the same people you see going up, you see coming down. It's like you never know who's next to blow. You never know, you never know who's. Yeah, it's like don't burn bridges and don't be so caught up in your city and who's the best in that area or yeah. people not respecting not, yeah. or, you know what I'm saying, giving you the whatever you feel like you deserve. It's yeah. like branch out. If it's for you, do it. Work hard, grind, hit the road. Well, yeah, man, that's what we're here for, man. That's what we're trying to do. This is what this is about, giving us everybody that's trying to do some music the opportunity to be heard and some flowers a little bit, just a yeah, little bit, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and and this is a huge thing, and that's why I'm I'm so glad that you was like, you know what, I will come down here and kick it with you, Max, and, and say what up. Man, that means a lot to me because yeah. I know how hard it is to get a hold of you, and that's not a bad yeah. thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not a knock. It's just that I know you are busy on your own grind, and you yeah. don't, and it's not like you're not for real. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes it's like that, you know what I mean? So speaking of that, man, you've been traveling a little bit here and there too, right? Yeah, With yeah. the music. I've been on the go. Can you touch on that for just a second? Um, 
I actually been majority of the time I'm spending um I'm in Charlotte, Atlanta, and then um I'm out in Houston too. And that's just mainly just I mean, I honestly feel like I just I've been building the buzz in those areas. And yeah. You know your demographic. Bringing it back together. Yeah, like different demographics, the way people rock with you in different areas is different. Yeah. So it's always just good to travel, network. That's the biggest thing is the network. Like I think that's I the biggest tool I got is my, is my network is crazy. If it's the right <laughs> network opportunity, like I'm hitting it. So yeah, just networking and um like I said Charlotte's been showing me a lot of love. Atlanta and then Houston, a couple of the connections I got out there is major. So it's like, yeah, I got some stuff coming. I'm working. Okay. You got some shows coming up too? Yes, definitely. What's your next show you got coming up? Uh, my next show will be in Houston. It's with with some people and I'll be, yeah, I'll be dropping that information here soon. I'm okay. So I can see, yeah. Who yeah, yeah. Going. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. I love the mystery. The mystery yeah. is always, but you've always had that about you. And I think that's so yeah. dope because it just, it's what makes you you. Way. Like I used to be so excited to like share what, what I had going on. And then it's like, when it, if something don't fall through, then it's like, damn, I, dang, I done told all these people, you know what I'm saying? This, this, and this, and now this ain't going on and people looking at you kind of, so yeah. But now it's just like until it until that ink dry, I try not to speak on much. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna do something a little different actually with you. What would you tell any female artist that's wanting to really do this for real, but doesn't really know not necessarily how, but they don't they're not coming forward with it like a, like enough to where they really want to be taken seriously. Um, I'm gonna say as a woman in this game, I feel like you have to be ten times more like uh with it like you've got and that's what i'm saying full force with it you got to be sure of who you are it's like you gon you just got to be like you just got to know that this is what you want yeah. and it's like i feel like as a female it's like we can a lot of distractions come with it whether it's boyfriends you know friends that ain't it's so many distractions it's so many you know things whether it's people in the industry trying to you know that want you to do a little of this for that it's like you have to have a good circle good people around you that yeah. can protect you, watch your back, and, you know, make sure you stay in solid, and it's just knowing who you're working with. Okay, cool, cool. So, I know you got a good song for me today. What you bring up here for me today? Most definitely, most definitely. This single is actually unreleased, but I feel like since, you know, i kind of been MIA for a little bit, I just want yeah. to show people what's coming up next, which will be an EP, but this single is called Boss, and it will be dropping, um, I think, in a week. Yeah, okay. in a week. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this new single is called Boss. It's hard. Fresh energy. I'm. You on? You on? Are you on your boss excited. stuff? I'm, yeah. I'm you on your boss? I'm back talking okay. heavy now. Like, oh no, no more, there it I'm is. She's in her bag, yeah, folks. I'm back. Okay. I'm, back. I'm yeah, excited this about this. Boss. I can't wait to hear this. That's what's up, Dutchie, yeah. y'all. So, real quick, give me your uh, give me your social media handles, man, so people can like follow you and get with you. Yes, um, all across all platforms, it's at Dutchie Blanca. It's D U T C H I E B L A N C A. Across all handles. Dutchie yeah. Blanca's in the building, y'all. Y'all know what time it is, man. We got yes. Dutchie in the building for the Midwest Music Grind. Yes. It's your boy, that boy Max. I am blessed to have her up here right now. Boss is the name of it? Yes. You about to go have me out in the car feeling you like a boss saying? right quick. Let me go get in my bag right quick. You know what I'm saying? But it's going yeah. down right here on Man on 98.5 WEOA. And you know we're sponsored by Dante's in and out 967 South Kentucky Avenue. And of course, the Lucky Lady Lounge, baby. 523 North Main Street. And we out. Peace. Sir.